against it. You're meant to be enjoying your retirement. Why have you come out to uh, argue this issue? Oh, because this is a serious issue that could <coughs> change the nature of our country. I mean, this, will, this law will make New Zealand a dangerous place for people who are young and suicidal, uh, people who are old and think they're a burden, uh, people with disabilities. You know, if they have a bad day, we should be offering them, where well, they wish they weren't alive, we should be offering them kindness, and what we're going to offer them is to kill them. A danger to the young and suicidal? Safeguards yeah. built into the bill, small b. Uh, they're not enough for you? No, they're, they're worthless because there's no, no accountability and no enforcement. No one in the bill can review a debt. So you could wait, you could find out your grandmother was euthanized a couple of days ago and you're pretty surprised. There's no way you can find out what happened. You've just got to look at Canada, quoted often by Mr Seymour. I mean, where Canada are up to now, they let the genie out of the bottle just two years ago. They're now considering 14, 15 year olds being able to euthanize without their parents knowing. They're now considering uh, organ transplantation. That's a slippery agent. slope argument, right? Well, it's past worse. This, it's going to get worse in the future. Well, it's worse than a slippery slope. It's a completely logical progression. Once you start saying, we've dropped the ban on killing, some people can choose to be killed, how do you, how do you stop more? and more and more. And that's exactly what's that? happening How in Canada. How do you stop that? It's a good point. Well, you, you look again. It, they've, got a, they've got a different law. Uh, the Canadian one is similar to ours, or the one that's being proposed. Mm. And it's it, people who were involved in it just two years ago are saying, we never thought we'd end up here. Oh, not when they consider the price, so the price of having some choice. So as David has said himself, the people who generally want euthanasia are tend to be higher income, well-educated people who want control and they fear death, which we all do, but they want control over it. Uh, but the price of allowing that choice is to change the world for the other 98% of people who are dying Time for a quick who, don't, who don't want euthanasia. They must be protected. I mean, David hasn't answered the question. Time for a quick one, response. One yeah, single we're, we're going to see.